This video shows how to move a database from Microsoft SQL Server, that's what you see on the left side, with the uh, SQL Server uh, Management Studio, to a PostgreSQL uh, database uh, on your PC. So what you see on the left side is my database. And when I have a database on the left side, I, uh, I'm looking on this, I'm selecting start my stuff and then I have the SQL Express databases. I select my database and under there there are my tables. <coughs> From the tables you select here with the, uh, you're going here, you open the, uh, the tree, you take your table that you want to move to the other, uh, to the PostgreSQL database. So you go there and you see either you take select uh, design or select or the script table as and there you take the create to and <coughs> to a new SQL uh, uh, query window. And inside there you see how the SQL server does that job. The SQL server says, okay, I'm selecting use that database don't uh, with ANSI this uh, the, the type characters use that uh, ANSI null uh, quotient identifier whatever this is it's not too important these are default settings and then you say create table now we move that create table to the PostgreSQL database uh, to do that we copy all that stuff we copy this one or like uh, like something like this and then we move to the pg admin 4 it's also a tool from uh, which is in postgresql P pg admin 4 when you start this one you will uh, you're able to create your database you create a new database by your, which uh, with your new name of new database and in your database you find here under schemas are the table tables you find here the schemas and the public. Uh, in your, you also have those schemas in SQL Server, uh, but, but they are on a different place. It's like, what is my, uh, who is looking on that stuff? So public is always the default, default is for everything. And under there, there's a tables block and from the tables, you are able to say, okay, I create a new table or uh, all with the uh, SQL tool. I have to, to, no, not with the SQL tool, with the query tool. And now we are able to move the left block, the left block, this from the SQL server to the right block. And uh, I've, since I have one of those uh, existing tables, I take my I do the same, I go in, in there and I say uh, create my script, create also this create script. And now you have that point that you have the same conditions for both. It's a script and as soon as you run that script, uh, that stuff will work. So <coughs> we have here on this, on the right side, this create table if the table does not exist. So this is the same like this one, create table. Uh, the um, post tree does not use the uh, edge brackets, not these ones. So replace those against uh, abstract office. Then we have to have a look on the invarchar. Uh, so this is uh, a string with length um, 36 characters in SQL Server will go to character varying uh, 36. So this is this means it has a varying length of 36. So in varchar goes to character varying. So and the in varchar max, which is <coughs> the, uh, the the end text from uh, from the very very past it's uh, unlimited uh, character goes to character varying varying I don't know the English call uh, the English stuff and correct uh, so this is where it's not limited you may also take the 
uh, the, the, the chance to take the, the text instead. There's also no limitation on there. <coughs> but text is limited uh, in, the, in the way how characters are shown. So U UTF-7 may, UTF may, might uh, create problems in there. Then we have bit goes to bit and date time. Here is the date time goes to date goes to timestamp. So date time has a date and a time, and this is a date time with a uh, uh, also with a date and a time in it. Then there is a lot of other stuff, and after this you are able to run it. Uh, if the table already exists, you may say, "Okay, this is my table one, for example," and then you are uh, going through that steps. So you may take something like this you run it and you see this uh, runs in there so this is the same what is did I do wrong there's one this one is wrong one now you see it creates the, the, the public creation the articles articles one there's something wrong there's something wrong here this one something like this somewhere some sooner or later it should work something is wrong in there but this is not my not the point uh, what we need in here is we have to if we move that stuff we take the uh, the, the, the uh, structure how to create it and we move it to the other one uh, and then we create that table uh, the same way and after this we are able to do the uh, data transfer with ODB ODBC.